Good evening, I'm Brett Baer. The question of what the president knew and when he knew it tonight applies to the growing scandal over veterans' care. Here are today's developments. A doctor who worked at a VA hospital in West Virginia insists she was told to put patients off for months on end with disastrous results. A published report details excessive waits in Albuquerque, New Mexico, as well as the possible destruction of documents there. And the Washington Times says President-elect Obama's transition team was briefed on inaccurate waiting times back in 2009. Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry with how the administration is handling it all. As pressure builds on a still silent President Obama, the drip drip of scandal at veterans hospitals has turned into a gushing stream of allegations that have now reached 19 states, including new information first reported by Fox about two patients who allegedly committed suicide waiting for care in West Virginia. I knew that the suicides were inevitable. I mean, and worse than if they hadn't been treated at all. And the Washington Times reported the Obama team was warned by the Bush team during the 2008 transition about troublesome wait times at VA hospitals. Aides to the president acknowledged today for the first time they knew broadly about that problem even earlier. The fact is uh, then-candidate Obama, then-Senator Obama identified uh, problems within the VA and committed himself, should he be elected, to making sure that we uh, enhance the uh, uh, budgets. In fact, as a candidate, then-Senator Obama told the VFW it was a sacred trust to improve treatment for veterans. No veteran should have to fill out a 23-page claim to get care or wait months, even years, to get an appointment at the VA. While news about the 2008 transition shows the problem started in the Bush administration, it begs the question of what this White House has done for six years. If you were warned about it in the transition, wouldn't you do something in 2009, 2010, 2011? Absolutely, which is that we asked for and uh, received from Congress uh, significant increases in the uh, Veterans Affair uh, budget. We threw more money at it, which is great, no, 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 but no. it's not getting to the veterans. Well, that's simply not the case. Again, you have more veterans being served uh, it, it, through health centers around the country. Whistleblowers disagree. One anonymous doctor telling the Daily Beast an Albuquerque VA hospital has a secret waiting list of eight months. While this whistleblower told Fox about one colleague's haunting phone conversation in Phoenix. She said, oh my God, Troy, I just called the wife of a veteran who's already passed away. He was waiting for a new patient appointment and never got it until it was too late. While the president has not spoken out on the scandal in nearly a month, aides say he's madder than hell and will address it soon. As for how he first heard the allegations of deaths in Phoenix... I believe uh, we learned about them through uh, the reports. Now, we heard similar during the IRS scandal. Today, Jay Carney held up the American Legion's support of a VA official's exit as a sign of accountability, except a few moments ago, the American Legion put out a new statement saying they thought it was accountability, but then they learned the official was already planning to step down. They now call it business as usual. Brett? Ed Henry, live on the North Lawn. Ed, thank you.